Okay, to meet my expectations, you need to have your homework out on your desk ready to check. Notice that you don't need to have paper or pen. That's because we're going to do a review today, and it's already in your notes. All right, you should be looking at this assignment that you did last night. All right, a study was done. I'm sorry, before we get on with this, let me just remind you that each one of these is worth a separate point. So number one is worth three points. So you would mark only the one that you get wrong. All right, a study was done to find if different tire treads affect the braking distance of a car. The IV, and that keyword right there is different, so the IV is tire treads. The DV is going to be the braking distance because it's what's going to be affected, the braking distance. So a control that you would... Um, maybe put on here as I said maybe uh, they all had to be going the same speed at the time that they break. You could think of a lot of different rules. Number two, the time it takes to run a mile depends on the person's running speed. When you see depends on a lot of times your IV is going to follow that and that's exactly the case here. So running speed. You might have put the person and, and that would be okay. It's just not clear enough. That person has a running speed. Your DV is going to be how long it takes them to finish the time. And you could measure in minutes, um, seconds, however, whatever. Um, increment you want to do. All right, a, the CV, um, there's certainly a lot of things you could pick here, but I would say maybe the distance, they tell you that they're going to run a mile, so it's kind of stated in this one, the distance is the same. You could have chosen to put maybe the shoes they wear. You know, it's not fair if one person wears sneakers and the other person's running in cowboy boots. So uh, you could do the same track, same terrain. So any of those would be fine. Number three, the height of bean plants depends on the amount of water they receive. Okay, there's that key phrase, depends on, again. What is it going to depend on? Well, it's going to be the amount of water. And we know that our DV depends on the IV, so the DV in this is going to be the height of the plants. It's depending on the amount of water. Um, and again, I simply put for control that has to be the same environment. You could have picked a number of things. Number four, the higher the temperature of the air in the oven, the faster the cake will bake. So we are changing air temp. And the DV is going to be the time it takes or the baking speed to bake the cake. Your uh, CV, I put the same amount of batter. You could have picked um, several different things. Same oven, same altitude, same, um, same, um, same, not just same amount of batter, but the exact same recipe, etc. Number five, lemon trees receiving the most water produced the most lemons. Okay, they, um, it's the amount of water. You can see by receiving the most water, there was a variance in there, and that's what we're changing on purpose, is the amount of water they get. So the way we know who wins, the DV is going to be the number of lemons. And again, I defaulted to it has to be the same environment. Number six, an investigation found that more bushels of potatoes were produced when the soil was fertilized more. Okay. So our IV, or what we're changing on purpose, is the amount of fertilizer, fertilized more, okay? Our DV, or our data, how we know who wins, is how many potatoes they collect, the bushels of potatoes, or numbers of potatoes. And again, I defaulted to the environment. Same sunshine, same soil, same amount of water, etc. Number seven. Students measured the temperature of the water at different depths, wait for it, in Lake Skywalker. Yeah, they went there. Lake Skywalker and found that the temperature varied. All right, they used um, the word different in here. That should tell you right away things are changing. Your IV is going to be the different depths of water. Your DV or your data that you will observe and collect is going to be the different temperatures 
measuring the temperatures and you would state like in degrees Celsius or degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, and then our CV, I put that has to be the same lake. You could say it has to be the same time of day, same time of year, um, same measuring equipment, etc. Number eight, the amount of pollution produced by cars was measured for cars using gasoline containing different amounts of lead. There's that keyword, different amounts. So your IV, or the thing you're changing on purpose, is the amount of lead. Your DV, or your measurement, it tells you right here what was measured. It was pollution produced, or the amount of pollution. Okay? So a rule that you might have had is it has to be the same car, because hopefully the same car would put it around about the same amount. Normally, um, you could have picked other uh, things, like it has to be the same brand of gasoline. And number nine, this one they actually tell you the CV in, so I really wanted you to use the one that they gave you, but let's go ahead and, and do the other two first. Four groups of rats are first massed. Let's stop right here and talk about the difference between mass and weight. Um, a lot of times people think that's the same thing, but mass is the amount of space that something takes up. Weight is how hard gravity is pulling down on it. So you can have something really big that weighs light, or you can have something small that weighs heavier. Here's the example. Let's say you have a pound of feather and a pound of lead. They both weigh exactly the same. It's the same gravitational pull on them. However, which one's going to be bigger in size? Absolutely the feathers. You're going to have to have a big bag of feathers to make up a pound. Whereas the lead is going to be small. It could fit in the size of your hand. But they're both going to weigh a pound. The masses are different, how much space they take up. All right, so these rats are massed. We found out how big they are, how much space they take up. And then they're fed identical diets except for the amount of vitamin A they receive. Each group gets a different amount. After three weeks on the diet, the rat's masses are measured again to see if there's been a decrease, if they got smaller in size. All right, they tell you with the word different exactly what they're changing, and that is different amounts of vitamin A. D, how are we gonna know our data, our results, who wins? Well, it says that they measured them, and it's the rat's masses, okay? Now, they tell you straight up what their control is, and that is that they're fed identical diets, identical diets. I mean, you could have chosen other things, but they tell you in this that the biggest one is that they got the exact same diet, and so that would be your best CV. All right, you're going to turn this assignment in and get ready for the review. I really liked this visual because it just kind of reminds you what these two, the difference between these two and what they do. The independent variable is what I change. The dependent variable is what I observe. I like the little emoji guy, it kind of brings it home. Let's go ahead and review those two definitions again, just to make sure that we've got those solidified. The first one is independent variable. Remember that that is something that is changed by the scientist. It's what's tested. It's also what's manipulated. The dependent variable is something that might be affected by that independent variable, but it's basically what we observe, what we measure. It's the data that we collect. All right. So let's identify those two things in the following question. What brand of soda contains the most caffeine? Um, it tells you at the front what brand, so you know that our IV is what is the brand of soda. And we're going to test, or our data is going to tell us most caffeine, amount of caffeine. Okay, what type of toothpaste makes teeth the whitest? What type? They're questioning the type, so we know that that's going to be varying, so the IV or the change is going to be the type of toothpaste. Um, how we know who wins is the whitest teeth. That's our DV, is the whitest teeth. All right, how about does fertilizer help plants grow the tallest? 
um, fertilizer or not fertilizer. That's going to be your IV. And then you'll know which one wins is because how much they grow or how tall they grow. That's your DV. And the last one, does a ball bounce higher if it drops a greater distance from the ground? So you're going to stand up there and you're going to drop balls for, or from different heights. The heights or different heights is your independent variable. And then you're going to measure how high it bounces when it hits the ground. And that's going to be your DV is the height of the bounce. All right, we're going to do some group work now. So put everything away except for a pen or pencil and you'll be receiving that assignment. It's the Simpsons and there's scenarios that you have to figure out the variables and then answer a few questions.